Time to play with some clay. Well, it's another Monday, and I'm going to be working on Sitting Bull today, and uh, I wanted to start out this video by saying, if you like my videos, please subscribe and check the little bell down at the bottom down there so you can receive updates of my videos. And also, I sell instructional DVDs on how to sculpt. Um, I've got nine DVDs right now, and uh, the uh, tenth offer is uh, all nine of my DVDs for, uh, well, there's no shipping cost per DVD, and so I deduct that from the uh, sale price. But anyway, I really appreciate it if, uh, if you like my stuff and my videos and you want to learn more and take advantage of the 50 over 50 years that I've been doing this, um, it would be wonderful if you would uh, take a look at my instructional DVDs and purchase one or more. It really helps me to keep doing what I'm doing. Uh, I gotta pay for clay, I've gotta pay for this uh, house and the studio so that I can uh, continue to keep producing artwork. All right, time to get busy on this clay. Okay, I printed up these two pictures of uh, Sitting Bull. Uh, photographed at different times in his life, so I don't know which one's younger, which one's older. But I made the faces the same size of the face I'm working on. And so, I don't know if this is going to work, but I'm going to take the measurements off of these pictures. I don't know how much of this I'm going to show you because uh, like I just said, uh, I have instructional DVDs that go into greater detail as to how to do what I do and uh, some of the, the secrets that uh, I've come across in little hacks, you might call them, uh, on how to sculpt. And uh, I impart those in my instructional DVDs. All right. Let's get started and quit talking. He's got a wide chin. Don't let the roughness of the face fool you. It'll, it'll come true eventually. It's just right now, it's at the beginning stages, so it is a little rough.
I'm just taking small little tiny movements very delicate when you're working your size and even if I wasn't I'd be taking delicate movements because I am trying to be true to his face Just moving molecules of clay, you know, sweeping. And I'm careful where I'm putting my fingers too. There's nothing harsh in his face or facial features. And the older you get, the softer your facial skin is. So I'm just barely touching the clay, trying to smooth it as much as I can. It's always best when things are working to take a break and uh, come back and pick it up the next day. You don't ever want to rush what you're doing and uh, let this sit overnight. I'll come back and look at it with new eyes tomorrow and pick it up from there. This face is going to take a little longer to do than making up a face because I'm trying to reproduce a face and that is always a lot harder than just you know making one up it's much easier to make up a face Where 
before I make any stupid moves. I think I'll take a break. Good night, everybody. See you next time. Give me a thumbs up and share my video. And then check out my instructional DVDs, uh, the link down below this video. All right. See you next time.